My name's Thayer Walker, and I'm standing here in a mosquito-infested Bolivian jungle, and I'm about to walk a very large jaguar. Ambuare is an animal rescue center run by a Bolivian organization called Intawara Yasi. Founded in 1996, Intawara Yasi rescues and cares for animals that have been trafficked on the black market. Run by a handful of Bolivians and an army of international volunteers, the organization promotes a controversial practice called direct contact. Volunteers, many of whom have no expertise with wildlife, walk large predatory cats on a leash through the jungle for six to 10 hours a day. This is Rupi. He's a seven year old, 260 pound alpha male jaguar. He's been at Ambuari most of his life, but he hasn't lost his curiosity. Now this jaguar doesn't suffer fools or cameras lightly, which is why we're not gonna be able to show you what we do on our walk. But what I will show you is what the other volunteers are doing with their animals. So we're here with Amira. Amira is a 15 month old Jaguar here in Pake Ambuari. She's been here for approximately seven months. Um, she was seized from a family up north in Bolivia who had her on the porch as a sign of prestige. All the locals could pretty much come by and pet her and play with her. So she's pretty playful for a young cat, but she's coming along really well and she's a pleasure to work with. No This is incredible. This is a 170 pound jaguar licking me like a house cat. She's so big and powerful and gorgeous. It's just an honor to be in the presence of this animal. This close. Oh yeah. Feels really good on the mosquito bites too. It's a natural itching relief. It's not just jaguars at Intawariasi. The park also has ocelots and pumas. Today we will be walking with the three sisters Intiwara and Yasi who have been at the sanctuary since they were just cubs of about three or four months of age. We will only be with two of them today as the third, Yasi, is in heat, which means she will get a some distance down the path and then simply stop, lay down, begin meowing piteously, and will have to be carried back to camp by a very large Frenchman who will not be too happy about carrying her back again. It's already happened about three times. I don't think he's gonna do it again for us. Sometimes, the cats need a little incentive to return to their enclosures. Let's check back in with Ruby. How do you get a 260-pound jaguar back in his cage? With an egg. Ruby. Yeah, that's how you do it. So that's about it for our time here at Ambuari Animal Park. Now these animals have spent most of their lives with humans and they're very well behaved. But still, they've got powerful jaws and sharp claws. And as this bite mark in the crotch of my pants illustrates, even a playful jaguar 
can be a scary one.